What's up, guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp and Profile Builder tutorial for you. So this week, we're going to learn how to use Profile Builder in order to create a ladder that automatically fills in rungs, as well as a top support um, that you can use as kind of a safety rail on every ladder that you create. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So you might have seen inside of the assembly dialog in the samples folder. So if you click on samples right here, there's a bunch of built-in objects like railings and fences, and there's also a ladder. I've always liked the ladder that's in here, and so I figured we could go ahead and we could add a ladder ourselves. So it's gonna work something like the one that's already in here, which is facing the wrong direction, where we're gonna add, um, we may start with something a little simpler. So we're just gonna create a simple ladder with rungs in it, and maybe it'll have a top piece um, that goes over the top. Um, I don't know if we're gonna add a cage or not. We'll just kind of see where this goes. But if you look at this, and remember how you think about things inside a profile builder, there's really a couple different things you need to think about. So the first thing you need to think about is the profiles that are getting extruded along your path, right? So in this case, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have these profiles along the sides that make up the edges of your ladder. So those are what are gonna get extruded. And then the rungs are the things that are getting repeated. So that means that we're gonna model them and then repeat them inside of our model. So first off, let's go ahead and let's create our two side pieces. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna model out profiles. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just gonna draw a very simple profile. So we'll say it's a steel piece, maybe we'll call it three inches long and we'll say it's maybe a quarter inch thick. That might be a little thick for a steel piece, but um, we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that as is. And so what we need to do is we need to take that and we need to make it a profile. So we're just gonna open up the profile dialog by clicking on the button right here. Then we're just gonna click this plus button and we'll just call this support and click on okay. So now we have a support that's in here and what we want is we want to include this not only as a profile, but also as a part of an assembly. But see how if we click and draw, that this is going to bring this in. And so what we want to do now is we want to go into the assembly dialog and we want to create a new assembly. And we're just going to call this ladder. And so what we want to do with our ladder is we want to start by adding a profile member. So we're going to click right here in order to add that profile member. And actually I find it easier to go ahead and just place a copy of this profile inside of your model because we're gonna reference it in a second. But now what we need to do is tell it which profile to reference, right? And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna use the option for pick for model and we're just gonna click on this copy of that profile. So now this profile or this assembly is made up of a single profile, right? So if I click and bring this in, it's just gonna bring that one profile in. So now what we wanna do is we wanna bring in our second profile. So we're just gonna click the plus button and we're gonna make sure that this one is referencing this profile member as well. So now if we were to bring this in like this, we have two pieces in here and notice how they're facing or they're aligned improperly, right? We don't want them aligned end to end. What we want is we want one of them over to the side over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our left, right offset. So we're going to set our left, left, right offset to let's go ahead and call this 21 inches. So we're going to do 21. Notice how the preview has adjusted in here. Well, what I want to do is I want to select this one. And I'm gonna click on this button right here to apply the attributes. So when I apply the attributes, that means that I can actually see the changes that I made inside of this profile. And so notice how these are still not aligned. So what we wanna do, first of all, that's a little long. So maybe I'm gonna bring this down to one foot three. So maybe like 15 inches. But then we also wanna adjust our up down offset to zero. So I'm gonna set this to zero. And then we're just gonna apply that attribute. Now these are aligned because what we did is we took this and it was offsetting this by three inches, but now we really don't need it to do that. So now what we have is we have a ladder assembly that goes up, right? So now we need to start adding our rungs. 
So I wanted to stop and take just a second to thank my supporters on Patreon. So Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So one of the things I do for supporters on my Patreon is they get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week my patrons voted and they voted on Profile Builders, the extension I was going to cover this week. So every week my patrons get to vote on the extension that I'm going to cover. Um, I'm also open to suggestions there, so if there's something you'd like to see, um, I like to try to take patron suggestions into account first. But if that's something you're interested in, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now back to the video. And so the way that we're going to add our rungs is we just need to model a rung out as a component. So in this case, let's say that our rung is going to be, let's say that the rung is going to be a circular piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap the C key in here. I'm just going to draw the rung that I want. So don't worry about where you place it for right now. You want to just make sure that you're uh, modeling this out with the proper size. And so I'm going to say that this has a radius maybe of like, we'll call it a half inch. So I'm just going to do a 0.5. Then I'm going to use the push pull tool in order to push pull this across. And so now we've modeled one of these. And what we want to do is we want to select it and make it a component. And we can go ahead and call this rung. Hit enter. I think there's one from the other piece, so we'll call it step. So we're gonna call this step and click on create. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and move this over because I don't want it inside of this assembly. I wanna add the component to this assembly. So what we wanna do is we wanna come in here and we wanna add the component that we just created. So in this case, we're gonna click on the plus button and we wanna pick from model and we wanna select this component. And so let's go ahead and click on one of these other previews so we can get a better view in here. And so what this is currently doing, if we update this, is it's just kind of placing this in here, right? And so that's not necessarily what we want. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set our rotation to something like, we're going to call it not 90 degrees, but maybe 270 degrees. So now if we update this, notice how that's rotated in the proper direction. We've got a little bit of a gap here. So we want to move our left right offset by about an eighth of an inch. So we're going to go down, change our left right offset, I think, to an eighth of an inch. We're going to update this. So that moved this to the left an eighth of an inch. And so we could adjust the distance here to get this centered. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to double click inside of the component that we created, and I'm going to set the axes so that they're centered on this point instead. So I'm going to double click in here and I'm just going to replace the axes on that point. And it's going to ask if I want to update the component axes and I'm going to say yes. So when I say yes, and then we go through and we update this, notice how this is now centered. And it wasn't centered before because what it was doing is it was using the component axes in order to place this. And the component axes were actually over here. So it was placing it to the left. What I've done instead is I've just centered the component axes inside of this component so it's being placed in the proper location. That way I don't have to mess with the left right offset or anything like that. And so now what I want is I want to set this so that it has a setback, right? So I want it to be a certain height off the ground before it first places one of these. So I'm going to say that I want this to have a setback of 12 inches off the ground. And then we're going to update this. And so now let's go ahead and set our spacing. So because right now this is only placed one of these in here, we obviously want more than one rung in our ladder. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to go into our spacing and we're just going to set that to be 12 inches. So I'm just going to type in 12 and then tab out of that. And then we're going to update this. And so notice how nothing happened. So the reason nothing happened is because you've got this box right here for our horizontal checked. And so when you have this box checked, what it's going to do is it's only going to add this in when um, your object goes horizontal. So if we uncheck that, notice how our rungs then show up. So now if I update this, I have rungs inside of this, uh, this assembly. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure first off that we have an offset for our first object so um, or a setback. And what that means is that means I don't need a rung on the ground. So I'm going to tell this to have a setback 
of 12 inches. So what that means is that means this won't place a step until 12 inches after the start. So now our rungs are going up. So if I was to add a new version of this ladder, you can see how it's automatically creating this inside of our wall. All right, so one thing I don't like about this, and th this is the thing with Profile Builder, is you're just, you're kind of adjusting things to make sure that they're working um, when you're first building these profiles. Once you're done adjusting them, it's really gonna work exactly the way that you want it to do, but you do have to be willing to do a little bit of trial and error to get everything to kind of line up the first time. Um, so one thing I don't like is when I add a new copy of this, it's into my wall right here. And the reason that it's into my wall is if I go into my Profile dialog and select these profiles, um, or if I just use this one right here, this is currently set to place this based on the center point of this profile. Well, I don't really want that. What I want instead is I want this profile to be placed based on the top right corner, right? So what I want is I want this to be placed based on that corner point. So now if I put this profile in here, it aligns with the wall. Well, then we just have to go back and just uh, kind of re realign this stuff real quick. So I'm just going to go into my profile member. And I'm just going to select this updated version. And what that's going to do is that's going to update this profile in here where it's aligned with the wall. So notice how this one is now aligned with the wall. This one isn't. So we're going to go in and adjust this one right here. And then what that's going to do is that's going to mess up the alignment of our rungs. So we're just going to adjust our rungs with an up down offset of, uh, I wanna say negative one and a half inches. So we're just telling us to move these back one and a half inches. So now if I come in here and I adjust this, these are now aligned again. So now we have a ladder that aligns with our wall. And if I was to click right here and click right here, that ladder is gonna be placed along this wall. Right, and so let's say that we wanted this to have a cap kind of like this one over here. So basically a point at which this adds an end rail over the top. Well, what we would do is we would just set that as something that only gets added at the very end and we would just model it as a component. So let's say that we had a profile right here. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle then we're just going to draw a line up to whatever the height of this one is. We'll draw a little arc. We'll call it a half circle. Then we'll draw this back down to slightly above this wall. And then all we're going to do is just select that. We're going to use the follow me tool to extrude along that path. So then I'm gonna take that whole thing and use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy like this. We'll create a copy over here and then we're gonna take that whole thing and we're gonna make it a component. And we're just gonna call this top rail. And so what we wanna do is we wanna set this so that it gets added at the end of this assembly, right? So the way that we're gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. And then we're gonna add a component. We're gonna select by clicking on this button and then clicking on this component, this end piece. And what we wanna do for this one is we wanna set this where it's not repeating. So I'm gonna click and uncheck this. And we wanna set this where it's only at the end. So this is only gonna place this in here once at the end of the path. And then we just wanna make sure that it's aligned. So first off, I'm gonna set my rotation back to zero degrees. Actually, it looks like it needs to be at about 90 degrees. There we go. And then we're just gonna adjust it over. We're basically gonna set this to one foot, two inches. And we'll update this. Oh, nope. So we're gonna set this value to one foot three inches. And we're gonna set our up down offset to, I believe it's gonna be negative three inches. Like this, and we're gonna assign that. So basically what we've done is we've aligned this 
along this path right here. And now any ladder that we add is going to have one copy of that top point over the top. So say that you had like a shorter wall, like this one. Now you've got a ladder that's gonna place this handrail at the top of the wall, no matter where you go. So that's kind of an overview of how you can create a simple ladder inside a profile builder. If you're interested, we can talk more about how we can make more complex shapes, but I wanted to give you kind of the overview of the way this works. It's a little intimidating when you first start off, but once you understand the way that the assemblies and the profiles work, it's really just a question of getting the parts in place and then just messing around with your distances and your spacing until you get the result that you'd like. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Have you used profile builder? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.